Hey there, Minecraft. Uh, my name's Havpick, and uh, this is a short opening tutorial on how to use the Industrial Craft mod for Minecraft. Uh, Minecraft uh, obviously has caught on a bit, and this is one of my favorite mods, including Super Slopes, as you can see from my tower here. And um, Industrial Craft uh, adds tons of extra gameplay to uh, Minecraft via machines and uh, new craftable items and such. And uh, Industrial Craft is referred to by its creator as a Tier 2 mod. Well, what's that? Well, that means that you won't see any direct uses for this mod right after loading in a fresh map. Uh, it's only after you've set up a safe home, uh, gathered the necessary materials, and cleared enough room to work in that you'll really get into the meat of this mod. Which isn't a bad thing, it's just something to work towards, and it pays off in the end. So, let's get right into it. Uh, first thing you're going to notice when you're out mining and mining about is the uh, addition of two frequently appearing ore blocks. Uh, one being copper and the other tin. Uh, both look similar to iron, except uh, copper is muddy orange, while tin, tin is a bright, almost white ore. Uh, they both smelt exactly like iron via uh, via the furnace, and uh, you can count on using them both in tons of recipes from the start of, start to finish uh, in industrial craft. Uh, there's also a third added ore, but uh, I'll go over that much later because it's only used in advanced machinery. So after you've delved into the earth for a bit and you have your new ore in hand, uh, you'll also need a few other things to get started. Uh, you're going to need uh, redstone. Uh, this mod uses redstone extensively, so it's not so useless for those of us who uh, don't feel like we need to build gates or clocks or cake flaming death traps. Um, going to need raw wood. Doesn't matter what kind. Uh, to start off, you're going to need tons of raw wood, honestly, so don't be shy about it three or four stacks at a minimum. Uh, wooden planks, in addition to the raw wood. Uh, coal and charcoal. So anytime you see a coal vein underground, don't feel shy about mining it, because you will need it. Uh, and you'll also need your basic crafting setup area, your, your workbench and a couple cobblestone furnaces to start. So one of the very first things you're going to want to do, however, is upgrade that horrible cobblestone furnace into a fancy new iron furnace. Uh, iron furnaces are 20% faster than cobblestone furnaces, uh, meaning they use 20% less fuel in order to do the same, or to do more tasks, rather. So if I put one piece of coal in here, and, well, let's see, we'll drop, we'll make some charcoal here, and eight pieces of fuel, with a regular cobblestone furnace, we, that would be done and we wouldn't have anything left over. With an iron furnace, we actually get one, two, for a total of ten pieces per piece of coal or charcoal you throw in there. Pretty neat. So, to make one of those, it's rather simple. Oh, out of cobblestone. I have any cobblestone there? Nope. Well, you should know how to use <laughs> make a cobblestone furnace by now, so I'll just use a piece of cobblestone. Take some iron ingots, fresh from the oven, and put them around your cobblestone furnace. And I say furnace because that's just a placeholder because I'm a scrub. And they place exactly like regular furnaces do, obviously. They don't catch stuff on fire because they're made out of iron or would get hot or any nonsense like that. Uh, so you feel free to stack them or whatever. So that's, that's going along, and we're just going to end that real quick. So we need to move right along to our next piece. So once we got our iron furnace set up, we are going to have some other bars set up and smelted. I've gone and done that ahead of time. And we have some new representative bars from copper. That's what your copper bars look like. Tin. Tin looks really close to iron in the uh, in your uh, item window. So just be careful. If, if a recipe doesn't seem to be working for some reason, uh, Go ahead and check the uh, uh, 
the industrial craft recipe text that comes along with the uh, download and you'll be good to go. Uh, one other interesting thing about tin is you can make buckets out of tin as opposed to iron, and I suggest you do so uh, because you'll be using a lot of iron in the uh, hours to come using this mod. But the very next thing you're going to want to try to make is cable. Uh, I have some cable over here in my little shelf mod, and this is used primarily to run current from machine to machine usually generators to machines in order to allow them to perform their functions. But another thing that it's used for is pieces in new machines, because you obviously got to wire the things. So in order to make that, we have to do two other steps first, when we're first starting off. Uh, first, we're going to make tree taps, which are made with wooden planks, like so. Get one tree tap for five wooden planks. And then for every three pieces of raw wood and one tree tap that you use you get one piece of rubber that's right this sucks down wood like it is nothing so when I say you're going to cut down a small forest to fund this it it's not an over exaggeration don't throw out those saplings folks replant them so we're gonna need a total of six pieces of rubber so let's get a couple more wooden planks here and make five more tree taps. Yep. Two, three, four, five. Okay, now we're going to take our wood, put in the three slots, tree taps, and now we have six rubber to work with. And of course, cabling requires copper and you must smelt copper into ingots for this recipe to work and just throw your cable or excuse me your rubber on the outsides and that makes eight pieces of cable we'll take that and throw it in the inventory all right uh, we have our cable made and the next set of items that we need is refined iron uh, refined iron is very simple to make take some iron ingots chuck them in the furnace and just smelt them a second time and you're going to need at least eight to start so pop up oh, there's a refined piece of iron and it's a nice silver color it's very distinguishable from other other bars and such and we're just gonna let that smelt and once you get your eight pieces of refined iron come back over to the crafting table so nice iron furnace popping these out real quick for us we're going to make a block called a machine block. And machine blocks are just like, uh, they place just like iron blocks would. Uh, they're a little darker and they're not nearly as white. And they're just a basic machine component for other, other things to use. And to make those, you take eight pieces of refined iron and you just stick them around on the outside like you would a furnace and it makes a machine block for you right there. So we have our cable, we have our machine blocks. Next thing up is going to be something called a battery. And batteries are very simple to make. This is tin, not iron. So tin in a V shape, like you're making a bucket, piece of redstone, and ta da, you get a re battery, which I already have two of, so I'm just going to toss that back down on the ground. Then after the Re battery. We are going to need a regular cobblestone furnace, one machine block, one empty battery, and we've just made our first actual machine, which is called a generator. Uh, generators burn items like furnaces do, except instead of smelting items, they turn the burned items into electrical current for your machines to use. So this is what the re where the uh, batteries take take center stage. You just toss them in the top slot, throw in the fuel, and as this burns down, it will slowly fill up this bar and charge the battery. 
So while that's going, we will make something that will make your life even simpler and cut the amount of mining that you need to do down considerably. And this item is called a macerator. To do that, you will need a couple stone mining picks. By a couple, I mean three. Pretty simple to make, obviously. So we got our three mining picks. Uh, we're going to need more cable. So let's fast forward here. Okay, more cable. We're going to need something called a electric circuit, which is six pieces of cable. And we're going to need two of them, so just double that. I need some redstone on either end here. And oops, my bad. We're going to need more refined iron. So pick all that back up. Redstone, cable, and refined iron in the center. And that makes electric circuits, which are also just a part like machines. Uh, machine blocks, excuse me. Except these can't be placed, they can only be held. They think they would look rather silly as a block, honestly. So now we have our machine block. We have our mining picks. And we have our two electronic circuits, and that makes a macerator. And just real quick, macerators take your ore, and they turn it into dust of the same kind. So if I were to put iron ore in here instead of tin, and power this machine, I will get iron dust right over here. Except I get two pieces of iron dust for every piece of iron ore that I put into the macerator. So it doubles the amount of ingots that I can make, basically. This dust smelts into ingots, uh, which is very, very useful. And then in order to power that, see, re-battery is done charging. Come over here, ore in the top, re-battery in the bottom, and it'll suck all the energy that you put into it into the machine and run through the process of turning ore into dust. And nice thing about these machines, they don't waste energy unless you uh, go in and mess with the config file, which you shouldn't. <laughs> and uh, as soon as this is done going through this uh, six stack of ore, it, the machine will turn itself off and any unused current will stay in the machine for future use, which is really nice because it just saves on uh, saves on your electric bill so to speak so there you have it there's your generator there's your macerator and there's your iron furnace and that is the basic starting trio for industrial craft uh, there's a lot more to come and uh, stay tuned for some future videos